What's up everybody, I'm Steven Croft, the Dabbling Developer, and I'm here in Roblox Studio, and I'm just gonna kinda walk you through first time opening up Roblox, how to control the camera, how to put one piece on the screen. Nothing crazy, very simple stuff. So, as you can see on the screen, there's all sorts of garbage. You can sign up, you can log in, you can do a new project, you can go to your projects, there's all sorts of crazy stuff, but for today, we're just gonna click on base plate, and get started with a very basic, very plain world. So it loads up here and on the left here we have all sorts of like simple things that we can add into our screen. On the right here we have the Explorer which we can travel through some of the different external files that we can grab in and put in on our game. But for now I'm going to close both of these, get them out of the way, we need the screen space so we can explore this very interesting, very exciting world we have here. So to do some basic movement, you can use the WASDA keys. So left is A, right is D, forward is W, back is S, you know, the good old WASD WASDA. Now you would think that if you click, left click on the screen, you'd be able to move around. Not really, you actually have to right click and that allows you to rotate the world. So right now I'm rotating it to the left, I'm rotating it to the right, I'm going down, I'm going up. Okay, so Roblox is really awesome. They have great tools, but this movement scheme is garbage. So what I like to do for the easiest movement is just hold down W, which moves you forward, and then spin the camera with the right click. So we can go up, which raises us up in the world. We can look down. I can hold down W and look to the left. I can hold down W, look to the right. There's all sorts of stuff, but really I'm just using the W and the S to go forward and back, and then I'm scrolling around with the right click. Now, all of that is absolutely crazy. It's cool to use sometimes, but that's more for just exploring your world. For the most part, you're gonna use one very simple key press. Let's go ahead and put a part on the screen. So I'm gonna come up here to the part menu. I'm just gonna grab a block. Awesome, it's got the most interesting block we can possibly have on the screen. It's super close to us. It's like, it's really far away. So we're gonna click on it, and then on the keyboard, we're just gonna press F. Boom, brings us right to it, we zoom in. We might be a little bit too close, but for the most part, it's going to focus the camera on the single part. And that's really nice because no matter how we move the camera, the center of the camera is gonna stay on this block because that's what we're focused on, that's what we're interested in. So as we add more pieces, we can click on them, click F, and it'll pull focus just to that piece. So we don't have to do all this crazy movement. We just click on the part, click F, we're good to go. So I hope you guys like that. I know it was really easy, it was a really simple concept, but for somebody opening up Roblox for the first time, it wasn't obvious to me, so I don't think it's obvious to very many other people out there. So go ahead and play with the movement scheme, get a feel for it. In the comments below, let me know what you wanna see next. Maybe let me know how the video was, if I can improve, or if it was just awesome and I'm perfect. Probably not, but I like hearing that stuff sometimes. So let me know what you think in the comments and look forward to my next video where we get more into how Roblox works.